Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is Saturday morning. It is just past 11 o'clock. This is your brother, Abdurrahman Bashir. And thank you for joining me for this week's story time today. I have a very special guest again, uh, brother Mirais Murad, right here from Allen, nine years old. Inshallah, he's going to be joining me as co pilot for this week's story time. Now, this week we are talking about uh, the book we are covering is Sadiq and the Desert Star. Uh, this is part two. We didn't quite finish the book off yesterday. Yesterday. Today we have the book reading and we are also going to be having right at the end Build your own homemade telescope with sister Salvi Ahsan inshallah that is going to be at the end of the story now before we get started with the story and also before I um, <clears throat> Before I welcome our guest. I just want to go ahead and share with you uh, Some uh, uh, Important stuff about our story time this week now. Let me go ahead and get the sets uh, get the stage set up So for those of you who are watching at home, by the way, uh, please uh, Get with the help of an adult uh, Your adult guardian whether that be a parent or your older sibling or anyone for that matter uh, You know feel free to throw up our stream on your TV instead of having to watching it on a laptop or on a mobile device um, you know, you can just put it, uh, go on the YouTube app of your smartphone or stream it on, uh, on your, on your TV device. And this, this story time is meant to be enjoyed by the entire family. So, Hey, mom and dad, if you're out there and you got your kids on the couch watching, join them as well. We, we, you know, there's a lot of important lessons to learn. And for those parents who don't join us, um, you're very welcome. The imam of your local masjid is keeping your kids engaged for the next 45 minutes to an hour so you can get stuff done or you can just relax, okay? So you are very welcome in advance. Uh, please throw in a comment in the comment section, uh, words of appreciation or thanks or whatever you have, whatever you want to say. This is meant to be an engaging story time. Uh, as I mentioned, watch us on your TV. You see over here, uh, we have you know different pictures uh, uh, from our uh, community members of uh, you know showing themselves enjoying story time uh, Saturday morning. And with that being said, there is a link in the comment section. Okay, send us your pictures. We would love to get into your living room. The Allen community would love to see how your kids enjoy story time. So definitely go on the uh, comment section and uh, send us your pictures. And inshallah, if we get a chance, we'll show them live in today's stream or we'll show them sometime in the future. So chill back and relax and have fun and learn at the same time. By the way, this is a really good time to uh, chow down on your breakfast, okay? So yeah, definitely uh, get your breakfast in front of you, whatever it is. I got my coffee right here. Yep, this is my gas. So when I have coffee, we're doing good. Um, we also had a, uh, every now and then, we also do a, a book giveaway. Uh, Planet Omar is a, a, a book two of Planet Omar, is something that we finished a few weeks ago. Uh, and we have Musleh and also Ibrahim, two of our book giveaway winners. Uh, so thank you very much for participating and we hope you enjoy your book and we love, uh, uh, we, you know, we love your participation and way to go. Um, your child, okay, or you watching, okay, I'm assuming if your child is watching, you don't have a child yet, but if you are watching and you want to join me, Imam ARB with story time, hey, have your parents uh, shoot me an email uh, in the comment section. Uh, and yeah, and we will definitely, we would love to have you on. We had, we had sister Rumesa, little Rumesa over here, join me for Zaydo Potato. We had Wasil join me for Planet Omar and Omar Abdul Hafiz, Omar joined me as Omar in Planet Omar. Um, a few weeks ago, we had Nilo Murad, which is a cousin, who's a cousin of our guest today. And last week, for those of you who are watching, we had Mr. Muslih. Mr. Muslih Manja, who started off the Sadiq, the Desert Star series. So, uh, yeah, please keep that in mind as you enjoy story time. I want to give a special shout out uh, to a family friend who is watching uh, uh, from, from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, Abdullah, Alina, and Abdurrahman, if you're watching, hey, assalamu alaikum from Allen, uh, from my family to yours, from a very cold Dallas this morning. Uh, so yeah, if you're joining, have fun and uh, and you know continues to join us. Inshallah, we'll probably hey Abdullah Alina, we could have you on one week too. Inshallah. All right. 
So uh, before we get started, I just want to put it out there that the copy of the book that we are showing has been purchased, uh, uh, has been digitally purchased and downloaded. And for those of you who are watching, if you would like to benefit from Muslim authorship and all of these fun stories, support the authors uh, uh, by purchasing their book. Uh, whether a hard copy or whether a downloaded copy, whatever it is, it's very important that we support Muslim authors who, you know, work hard to provide us with this fun educational content. So keep that, uh, uh, you know, in your head for the rest of your lives, inshallah, that we should always support Muslim con uh, Muslim authorship, okay? Today we are welcoming, <clears throat> da -da -da, drum roll please, you want me to do, uh, you want me to do that 30 second countdown again? I don't know, let's ask. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Mirwais Murad? Wa alaikum as salam. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. First of all, thank you. Thank mom, right? And yeah. thank mom. <laughs> and thank you uh, for joining me this morning. How are you doing today? Good. So we both live in Allen. Is it cold outside of your home too? I'm assuming. Yes. It's oh. 20 degrees and oh. wind is at 15 miles per hour. Oh my God! Yeah, it is cold. It's time for some of that coffee. You got you got your liquid in a mug. Yeah, uh, you got something. Yeah, I got water. Okay, well that's good. That's good. It's good to be hydrated. So, did you have your breakfast today? Nope. <laughs> oh, you didn't have your breakfast yet. Well, okay. Well, inshallah. Hopefully, after story time, you'll be ready to chow down a a, a nice big healthy breakfast. So, Mirais, thank you for joining me. For viewers, this is Mirais Murad. He's nine years old. He lives in Allen. And we are also going to get to learn a little bit about Mirais before we get started. So, um, before we start, Mirais, before we start reading the book, I want to go over a little summary uh, of what me uh, and Musleh, what Musleh and I went over last week in part one, inshallah. So, we're going to go over that. So, I'm going to I'm gonna have you here. I'm just going to put you on mute for a little bit, okay? Okay. Um, so folks are watching at home, Des Sadiq and the Desert Star. Um, I'm going to give you a summary of what we went over uh, last week. Let's see. We have one comment. All right. So we have uh, Rumeisa. Rumeisa, one of our, one of my co-pilots. Okay. I'm going to make a hall of fame of all of my co-pilots and story readers. Right. So she's saying salam and uh, she loves the Alan Majid and the Alan Majid loves you too. Mashallah. That is awesome. So keep those folks for those of you who are watching, uh, have your parents or if you have access to, or tell your mom and dad or someone to leave a comment. If you like the show, if you're having fun, let us know so we can make it even more fun. So the story is about a boy named Sadiq, duh, that's in the title, right? So Sadiq lives in Minnesota. Sadiq's parents are from Somalia. Sometimes they speak Somali at home, okay? So you see over here, this, this is Sadiq's family. Sadiq is the one holding the telescope uh, in the title picture. Now, Huyo uh, is not his mom's name. That's what you call mom in Somalian, okay? So that's something we learned. Uh, last week, I shared with you, I'm not going to go into all of the detail, but we learned a little bit about the country of Somalia, okay? What was the population, where it was located, how big Somalia is, what are some of the landmarks in Somalia. Uh, Somalia happens to be an almost 100% uh, uh, country of, of, uh, of Muslim residents. So that is something uh, interesting that we learned about Somalia. Now, one day at school, Mrs. Battersby, his third grade teacher, announced the school's spring festival and a field trip to the observatory. The spring festival was a chance for the school's teams and clubs to raise money. That night, Sadiq found out that his dad was going on a business trip and would be gone for a few days. This made Sadiq sad. You know, when our parents, uh, you know, when our parents have to go travel somewhere and leave us behind, definitely. Well, some of you will be really sad. Some of you will probably be like, yeah, okay. But whatever the case is, Sadiq was really, really sad. Now, Sadiq's dad shared a story of how he would also be saddened when his father, Sadiq's grandfather, would go on long trips on his camel to do business and provide for his family. Sadiq's father would be calm when he would see the desert star. Remember, that's the name of the book, Sadiq and the Desert Star. Sadiq's father would be calm when he would see the desert star at night, knowing that the star would be guiding his father as he traveled. So Sadiq's dad shared a story with Sadiq about how he would feel sad when Sadiq's granddad would go out on business traveling. The desert star is the brightest one of a cluster of five stars that looked like an arrow. 
Now, during the field trip, the whole class had the chance to see the planet Mars. Sadiq was very excited and learned so much. And we also, last week, I shared with you a whole bunch of facts about Mars uh, being the fourth planet from the sun, Mars' size, how long the year is, how long, how much would you weigh on Mars today? So we went over some of these details. By the way, if you want to go over, you can find the, uh, the, the video from last week on our YouTube channel or Facebook page, and you can enjoy the story time from there. Now, however, Sadiq and his friends were disappointed when they couldn't see Mars up in the sky later that evening from outside. No, duh. You need a telescope, right, Mirace? Mrs. Battersby explained that he would need a telescope to see Mars, but telescopes aren't cheap. Sadiq gets an idea. Boing. Let's start a space camp to raise money and buy a telescope. All right. So this is where we continue our journey. Now I'm going to unmute Mirwais. All right. So part two of Sadiq and the Desert Star with co-pilot and special guest Mirwais Murad. Okay. Now we're going to learn a little bit about you first. Okay. Yeah. You on the internet. Okay. <laughs> So what are we going to learn about you today? Hold on. Let me just unmute again. Okay. So what are we going to learn about Mirwais? Well, first of all, you're nine years old. Okay. You live in Allen with your parents and three older siblings. And your background heritage is from Afghanistan. So, hey, Mirwais, have you been to Afghanistan before? Uh, No. Not yet. No. Okay. Inshallah, one day soon you'll be able to go and see the beautiful country of Afghanistan, okay? Now, Afghanistan is located in Central Asia. It shares borders with six other countries, including Iran, Pakistan, Tajikistan, China, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. How many people live in Afghanistan? 38,000? No. 380,000? No. 3.8 million? No. 38 million people live in Afghanistan. What is the, hey, Midwest, what is the capital of Afghanistan? A uh, Kabul. Yeah. Did you read that here or you knew that? You knew that, right? I knew that. All right. Yeah, so, that. Kabul is the capital and it also happens to be the largest city. Now, how big is Afghanistan? Afghanistan is a little smaller than Texas. So I see that picture on the bottom. That's if you, if you picked up Afghanistan and you parked it on top of Texas, that's how it would look like. It would be like over Dallas and then Louisiana and, you know, like it, that's how it's spread out. But as far as the, the size, it's just a little smaller than the state of Texas. Now, Islam is the official religion in Afghanistan. 99% of the population is Muslim. There are two There are two languages, okay, that are widely spoken. Not one, Dari and Pashto. Uh, Afghanistan was settled 9,000 years ago. Did you know that, Mirwais? It has one of the oldest historical and archaeological sites on earth. And guess who's been there? Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great arrived in the year 330 BCE. And Islam was introduced to Afghanistan in the Afghanistan area at the year 642, uh, <coughs> 642 CE. Now, um, this is a historical landmark that's in Afghanistan. This is called the Fortress of Alexander the Great. This is something that he built when his army arrived in what is now called Afghanistan. So, hey, you know, Afghanistan has a very rich history and a very rich, uh, uh, very rich uh, 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 culture and heritage. Okay. Now, what does Mirwais like? Ah, uh, see, did you know? Did you think this was gonna come up? All those questions I was asking you. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. All right. So you like Manti. Now, what is Manti? So Manti, if you don't know what Manti is, or some people call it Mantu, or I call it yummy, um, it's called dumplings, okay? It's like dumplings, and they usually have lamb or ground beef. It's wrapped up in a thin dough wrapper. It's either boiled or either steamed, but either way, it's very yummy, okay? I don't care. You, you can boil it. You can steam it. You can smash it. I'm still going to eat it. Okay. Um, you also like oven baked chicken and rice and good old fashioned vanilla ice cream. What's your favorite topping? Um, I don't know. Maybe like chocolate syrup or something. Chocolate syrup. Hey, you kids watching at home, what's your favorite? What's your favorite topping uh, on ice cream? 
if you can have your parents or your adult share it with us. What is your favorite ice cream topping? What else about Mirace? You like the Kansas City Chiefs? Oh, my condolences. Wah, wah, wah. Also, you like the Los Angeles Lakers. But then again, who doesn't like the Lakers, right? And according to Mirace, I like to destroy stuff. Yeah, you said that, not me. So I put your face on our wreck it, Ralph. And you make podcasts. So you like to destroy stuff and you like podcasts. And you make podcasts on Anchor, right? So yeah, mashallah, you know what? You're a really talented person, right, Mary Grace? Mm -hmm. And you also like playing Super Smash Brothers, right? Yeah. And you also shared with me that your favorite character, who's your favorite player on Smash Donkey. Brothers? Donkey Don Kong. Um, Donkey Kong. Hey, you kids watching at home, do you play Smash Brothers? Who's your favorite player? And I want you to take, I want you to think right now, can you guess who, which player Imam ARB likes? Hmm, I'll give you a second. I'll give you five, four. I know Mirace knows. I know Mirace knows, right? My favorite player is, uh, uh, those of you, you guys guessed it all wrong. It's Shake. <laughs> I play with the Shake and I kick butt. And my sometimes my go-to player is Bowser and Simon. So yeah, that's who I like to play with when I'm when I'm uh, uh, when I'm smashing uh, uh, on on Switch. All right. So we have over here uh, Sara uh, uh, Sara M. Comment from Sara M. Um, she likes chocolate and sprinkles on chocolate ice cream. All right. And we have Ibrahim, just vanilla ice cream, no toppings. Yum, yum, yum. That is awesome. All right. Now we are going to finally get into the book. I'm going to start off. So wherever uh, wherever you see my little bitmoji, that's the page I'm going to be reading. And then we're going to pass it over to Mirwais. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Sambus. The next day. The five Space Club members all sat in a circle outside at recess. Welcome to the first meeting of the Space Club, Sadiq said. Over the weekend, I found out that telescopes can be very expensive. But I have an idea. We can build one instead. That sounds like fun, Manny said. Nurali and I found videos online that had directions, Sadiq said. We can use the money we raise at the Spring Festival to buy the supplies. That's a great idea, Odin said. I love to build things. That's the opposite of you, Mirwais. <laughs> okay. What's everyone going to sell at the Spring Festival, Avina asked. My mom and I can bake something. Her chocolate chip cookies are delicious. <clears throat> I'll see if my grandma can make lemonade, Manny said. It's going to be hot out this weekend. <laughs> I'll print out stickers with planets and stars on them, Odin said. And I can make some paintings of planets and constellations, Zaga said. Stodic was getting excited. Now I just have to think of something, he said. That night, Sadik was thinking of things to sell at the festival. A lovely smell drifted into his room. Sambus. <laughs> Sadik loves sambus, our samosas, but usually his mother only cooked them during Ramadan. It wasn't Ramadan. Why would who you be cooking sambus tonight? Sadik wondered. <clears throat> Sadik wandered into the kitchen. His mother and Aliyah were chopping vegetables. What are art? Are we having sambus for dinner, Sadiq asked. All right. Are we having, so sambus is, well, I, I hear a little echo from your speakers. All right. So let me put you on mute right quick. Okay. Aliyah nodded. I asked who you to make them. She said she would, she, uh, she said she would if I helped. That gave Sadiq an idea. Huyo could make you sambus for the space club to sell at the spring festival this weekend, he asked. Okay, Sadik, but I'll need your help. Sambus are a lot of work, Huyo said. I'll help, Sadik said. The day before the spring festival, Sadik, Aliyah, and Huyo went grocery shopping. 
Sadik picked out his favorite fillings for sambus, ground beef, bell peppers, cilantro, onions, and carrots, okay? So what did Sadik do? Sadik got an idea of making, you can unmute yourself, Mirais. Sadik got the idea that, hey, you know what? I could sell this and we can make money, right? So sambus is another word for samosa. Hey, uh, Mirais, we got a shout out from Nilo and Isa. Yeah. yeah, they're your cousins? Yeah. Okay, mashallah, mashallah. And we also have a comment over here. Zane likes cookies and cream, and in Smash Brother, he likes Ike. You like playing with Ike? Never no. heard of him. Never, yeah, Ike is a character. Have you unlocked all your characters? Uh, Yeah, my cousin has. That's what we play on, my cousin Switch. Okay, okay, mashallah. And over here we have uh, from Walid Hassan, Layana likes a cherry on top of her vanilla ice cream. So do I, okay? I put cherries on all of all of the kids' ice creams and they don't like it, so then I get to eat it. And over here from Aisha Hayum, we have Aliyah likes M&M toppings. Oh my God, who does not like M&M's, m and toppings. I think this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has innately, naturally embedded in every baby to love M&M's. Like they don't, even if they've never tried M&M's, if you show a baby an M&M for the first time, oh, I want M&M's, right? Yeah. And she likes Marth. Oh, Marth, I see. Okay. Well, maybe, you know what? Maybe all of you, all of you Switch players, maybe we can have like a a, a, a a Nintendo Smash evening, right? We can all play online and uh, let's see if you can beat the Imam, okay? Now, man, all of this, hey, Mirwais, man, all of this Sambus and Samosa and all of this is making me so, so hungry. What's the deal with Sambus? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who brought this picture of Samosas in front of me, right? You can unmute yourself, Mirwais. Now, samosas or sambus. So remember, we're talking about Sadiq. Sadiq is a family. Sadiq is from a family with a Somali background. So sometimes there, there are dishes that we share uh, and they have a different name, but they're kind of like the same thing. So what, what Sadiq calls a sambus is either called sambosa or it's called samosa. Now, sambus, as is called in Somali, is a deep fried triangular shaped pastry filled with meat, spices, often served as an appetizer. Um, a very popular in Ramadan. Oh my God! In Ramadan, you should you know you should see like if you go to the masjid for iftar, you're gonna get a little plate and it's gonna have a date and a samosa, and and when when you're breaking your rosa, it's like this midways samosa date samosa date samosa samosa, right? Everyone goes for the samosa, right? Which is not exactly the best way to break your fast, folks. For those of you who like to be health conscious, yeah, stick to the dates and then go for the samosas. Uh, now, samosas are of many types, okay? Samosas have different different designs, different shapes, different types of crust. You get meat samosas or veggie samosas. Midway, so you like meat in the middle or veggie in the middle? Uh, ve veggie. I think. Yeah? yeah? What do you like? You like, like peas, potatoes? What do you like inside? Yeah, potatoes, peas, cilantro, yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. Whoa, cilantro. Very classy dude. Um, you also get sweet samosas, cheesy samosas, and oh my god, I never knew there was a such thing as chocolate samosas, but it makes so much sense. Oh, chocolate samosa, where have you been in my life? Yeah, all right. And then what comes with samosas? Hey, listen, folks, there's you can't have a samosa without the sauce, okay. There's different types of sauces. What do you like to dip your samosa in? Uh, mashte. <laughs> yogurt. Yeah, what's that? Yogurt? It's yogurt, yeah. You know what I like to do? I think yeah, it's pretty think it's obvious, obvious what, what, what what I like to dip my samosa in, right? What is it? I think it's ketchup. Ketchup. Oh, my God. I put ketchup on my ketchup. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, me, I love ketchup. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so these are the different types of samosas. Now it's your oh, oops, where'd it go? Now it's your turn to read Mirways. Go ahead. When they got home, Sadik and Aliyah set up their cooking stations. Aliyah chopped up the filling. Sadik rolled out the dough. Huyo added spices to the mixture. <clears throat> she cooked the sambas on the stovetop. When they were done, there were enough sambas to feed the whole neighborhood. Sadiq couldn't wait to show his friends.
Chapter five, Chapter five the, spring the Spring Festival. festival. Sadik waved excitedly from the car. Zaza, he shouted as he got out. Wait till you see what I brought. It was the day of the Spring Festival and Zaza was unloading supplies from his mother's car. He stopped what he was doing and rushed over to see. In Huyo's trunk, there were many containers filled with lo sambus. Sambus, yum, Zaza said. Can we have some? Can we have some? He looked hopefully at Sadiq's mother. Zaza, manners, his mother said, walking over from the car. Huyo laughed. I think there will be enough to go around, Zaza. First, let's get the table set up. Zada and Sa Zaza's and Sadik's mother each grabbed a side of the folding table and carried it inside the school. The boys followed, carrying the food items. <clears throat> carried it inside the school. The boys followed, carrying the food items inside. The rest of the space club was setting up. Avina arranged a plate of cookies. O Odin and Manny put Manny's grandmother's lemonade on the table. Children, parents, and neighbors had started coming. Soon, the space club members were busy selling their items. They explained why they were raising money. Everyone seemed very interested. They were especially excited when Sadiq told them that they would be able to see Mars through their telescope. At the end of the day, they counted all the money, $42. Oh, my God. They're making money. All right. Now... We just need to buy these materials, Sadik said. He held out a list to show his friends. I have I have paper towel tubes, Odin said. We collect them for our gerbil to climb through. Oh, and I have paint, said Manny. I'll bring tape, said Avina. Oh, I'll cover the scissors, said Zaza. That leaves the convex lenses to me, said Sadik. $42 will definitely cover it. I'll place the order for you, Sadik. You can pay me back, Julio said. The package should arrive in a couple of days. They probably use an Amazon too in the book. Then you can come over and put the telescope together. Next meeting is Tuesday after school at my house, Sadik said. Maybe we can look at the stars once it gets dark out, Avina said. The, the space club members all agreed. Three, two, one, blast off. The stargazing party. Julio! Sadik shouted. He ran downstairs to the kitchen. He was almost in tears. The convex lenses had arrived yesterday. Sadik put them in his closet, but now one of them was gone. Sadik, Julio said, she hugged him. Please calm down and explain what's the matter. One of my lenses is gone. I can't find it. Um, Sadik said, still sobbing. Maybe one of the twins took it. They might have thought it was a toy. Julio uh, said she rubbed Sadik's back. Uh oh, something's gone missing, man. We had the same problem in Planet Omar. Omar collected money for the masjid and then the money went missing. Now they bought the lenses and now one of the lenses is gone. Oh my God, so much mystery and we're all hungry. We have we're, we have a comment over here from, from N. Murad, which I'm assuming is Nilo. All this mantu and samosa talk is making me hungry. Well, you know what, girl? You're not alone. We all hungry right now. Oh my God, those samosa. I could, do, I could use some mantu right now after we're done with this story time. Yeah, could you? I know you could, Mirwais, because you haven't had yeah. breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Now, let's see right here. I already checked their room, Sadiq cried. The space club meeting is in an hour. How am I going to explain it to them? I might have an idea of where it is, Huyo said. Follow me. Huyo led him into the girl's bedroom. A dollhouse sat in the corner of the room. Aha, Huyo said. She walked over to the dollhouse. She bent down and reached inside. Is this your missing lens? Yes, Sadik said. How did you know it was there? Well, Amin has been taking things that she stood it, she shouldn't. She stores them in here. It must be a phase, Huyo sighed. She handed the lens to Sadik. <clears throat> Just then, the doorbell rang. Sadik raced downstairs to answer it. When he opened the door, Odin and Manny waved at him. Hi, Sadik said. Are you ready to start building the telescope? Avina and Zaza should be here soon. Uh, yes, 
Odin and Manny said. They followed Sadik into the living room. Huyo brought in some snacks for the space club. The group settled down to put together their telescope. Sadik, Odin, and Manny dug into the food. They began to, they began, they began <laughs> to arrange the supplies. Then the doorbell rang again. Sadik's mother answered it. M- minutes later, Avina and Zaza joined them in the living room. Let's get to work, Space Club, Sadik said. All right. And you see over here, they're all getting to work. They got their chocolate chip cookies. They got their samosas in the middle. Yeah, they got all the oily fingers working on building their telescope. They probably have all the oil on the lens and everything. But hey, it's all good. The space club spent the afternoon building telescopes. They closely followed the instructions in the videos. When they'd finished, there was still about an hour until sunset. (gasps) What if we invite the neighbors? What if we invite some of the neighbors over? They might want to look through our telescope, Sadik said. Good idea, said Avina. We could call it a stargazing party, said Odin. Sadik, Avina, Maddie, Manny, Odin, Zaza, Mirwais, and ARB. Walked around the block. They invited neighbors to come look at the stars through their telescope once it got dark outside. They headed back to Sadik's house to start setting up. Outside his house, Sadik spotted a familiar car. Baba! Sadik cried. He ran to hug his dad, who was just getting out of the car. Hi, Sadik, Baba said. Your mom told me there's a stargazing party going on. Yes, Baba, my club made a telescope, Sadik said. Stellar work, Space Club, Baba said. Now the sun had almost set. It was time. Baba helped Sonic and his friends set up the telescope on the deck. Sonic's neighbors, family, and friends were all gathered in the backyard for the party. They talked and laughed as they took turns at the telescope. Sadik decided to tell everyone about the desert star. When my Baba was young, Sadik explained his dad, my Awi or Awu? Awuo. Awuo would go. Awu, mm-hmm. Awuo would go into the desert to sell cloth. My Baba would miss him when he was gone. Awe or Awua would show him a bright star in the eastern s- sky. He called it the desert star. If Baba could see it every evening, it meant his father was safe. He would return home soon, but here we're far from the desert. It's really hard to spot the desert star. Baba smiled at Sadik. Wilkega. Will- Rikega, he said, how about we see if we can find that desert star with your new telescope? So now remember I uh, I shared with uh, with you and our audience in the beginning that Sadi comes from a family whose heritage is Somalian. So there's different words and we went over this last week. Uh, there's different words and different languages and cultures that we used to call our parents. So for example, Mirei, um, is there anything apart from mom or mommy that you call your mom? In your in your in your home, yeah, you could call her Mor. Yeah. yeah, and what about dad? Do you call him? Do you say hey, dad, or do you say like Baba or Abu or something? Uh, Baba is what we call our grandfather, but for uh, my dad, we call him uh, uh, John, like that, John. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's very good. And now, so what do your parents call you when they're not screaming midway? I mean, it's mostly just nicknames. It's not like a name in thought. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's your nickname? Uh, maybe Coco. <laughs> okay, so we. But that's not, like my mom. Yeah. So, like my my dad would call me Beta. You know, again, when they're not screaming at when they're, when they're like oh, they're when they're not screaming at me, they'll call me like Beta, right? Or so yeah, in different in different languages and different cultures, there's different uh, ways to call yeah, yeah. older than you or uncle or auntie and you know whatever. So yeah, so Wilkega and Awuwe, these are all uh, different ways uh, in the Somali heritage to call one's parents or children, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so. <clears throat> Cool, Sadik said. He ran towards the stairs to the deck. Want to race, Baba, he asked. Are you sure about that, Baba asked, smiling. Three, 
two, one. Blast off, Shadik, Sadik shouted, and he took off. He and his father raced each other up the stairs to the deck, and they were all ready to explore space. All right? And you see Sadik and Avina and Zaza and everyone and all of the probably the neighbors, they are using their homemade telescope to uh, to they are using uh, their homemade telescope to see the planet Mars. Have you ever used a telescope? No? So, you know what a telescope looks like? You want to unmute? Yeah, All I right. know what a telescope looks like, but I've never used one. Of course you know what a telescope looks like. And just for our viewers right here, this is what a telescope looks like. Oh, my God. Let me look. Yeah, let me see. Oh my God, Mayweis! I can see, I can see what you're thinking inside your head. No, I can't. Okay, yeah, yeah. So hey, for those of you who are watching, hey, let us know if you've ever used a telescope before and what did you see, and uh, uh, what did you see and what you didn't see when you used a telescope. So now we are at the portion of our story uh, where we are going to be. Uh, making our own telescope, and we are going to be welcoming Sister Salvi Asan. Sister Salvi, are you there? Yes, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for joining us this cold morning. Yes. And uh, we've been talking about telescopes and Mars and planetariums and space club. And you know, like like in the story we mentioned, that telescopes not a cheap thing. Telescopes are expensive. So, but that doesn't mean you can't. That, that doesn't mean you can't have one, and that doesn't mean you can't make one. So last week, we send you off with a list of supplies to gather. So if you have those supplies and you haven't made them, you can get them all together now. And Sister Salvi is going to take it over, and she's going to show us how to make your own homemade telescope, okay? One thing to remember throughout the whole process, never point and your telescope towards fun. <laughs> The sun, yes. Never point the telescope to the to the sun. Go ahead, take it away. All right. Hey, first of all, Mirway's awesome job. Usually, whenever any of you guys from Sunday School or ASQ and join, I'm always like watching you guys and commenting. But today, I was backstage, so I just wanted to tell you in person, you did so 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 awesome. We're so proud of you. Okay. All right. So thank you for having me. Um. Uh. It, do you? Is it okay if I go ahead? And, do you want to sh share the screen, um, Imam, or uh, do you want me to do it? Um, let, you, you, you can go ahead and do it. Okay, cool. Um, so this is what it's going to end up looking like. Um, this is just made with two paper towel tubes. So, and I'll tell you how it eventually got to that. Obviously it's not as fancy as the one Imam has, but it'll do, it'll, it's, it's most, it, it'll, it'll still work. It's just like the one thought that his friends made it. And cause actually the uh, directions of how to make it is found at the end of the book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the written directions with you guys first with some pictures, and then I'll show a video to you guys that I pre-recorded last night making the one that I have right now. All right. So let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. And there we go. Okay. Are you guys able to see my... Uh, and yeah, there you go. All right, awesome. So what you need, as I mentioned, you need two paper towel rolls. Um, you need uh, two glasses. I had two old glasses. Don't make your parents go buy new glasses. If um, you can, a dollar, you can actually find like a dollar of them for a dollar at the dollar shop. Or if that's not something, you can also just use um, clear cellophane paper or nothing at all, right? Um, and then scissors, tape, paint markers, crowns, all of that is kind of optional. So the first thing that you need to do, um, like I said, I'm going to show you guys the pictures and I'll show you a video shortly. So you take one of the paper towel rolls. So as you guys see, I already have one inside and you're going to cut it, cut it le lengthwise, which means like vertically. Um, and then um, it should kind of like look like a U and then you fold it and you put it inside. Um, and then what they, so some people put the lenses on first or some people paint it first. I like painting mine first um, and then letting it dry. But um, if you're doing it right now live with me, just go ahead and put the lenses on. And the lenses, you need to make sure that they are facing inwards. Like the curved part is facing inwards. I don't know, if, is there a way to zoom into that? Uh, let me see. If no, no, I, I actually, I actually, uh, I, I took over the, uh, so I could put it in present. So yeah, let me, let me zoom in. What do you want me to zoom in on? 
just the picture so they can just see how they can cut it and then what the way the picture is um oops, the oops. oh <laughs> yeah yeah that's a little surprise okay. no. Um, yeah. right, and it's okay. We'll we'll see it in the video as well. But basically, like you know how the glasses have like the front part, the curved part needs to be facing inwards. All right, we can go on to the next slide. All right. So then, um, so you remember the one paper towel that you have? So inside, you put one of the lenses on there, and then you put the other lens on the other side, and then you could paint it and decorate it however you want and your telescope is done. That's literally all it is. Um, again, reminder, please do not point your telescope at the sun. Um, I'm gonna share a video with you guys um, that I recorded. I don't know what the, cause the audio usually messes up a little bit. So I might just voice over it live. Um, so now I think, do you have the video Imam? Do you wanna share it from your end? Yeah. So I just wanted to let our audience know that, you know, uh, just like Sister Al uh, Sister Salvi has been repeating again and again, and you see in red, do not point your telescope to the sun. If you point your telescope to the sun and you, are, you, you, you peek into your telescope, there is a very high possibility that you will lose your eyesight. So yeah, don't do... Don't do stuff like this, okay? Don't look into the sun during an eclipse, okay? <laughs> yeah. So don't look into the sun directly. Don't look at the sun during uh, in a telescope. Don't do any of that, okay? I just wanted to throw that in there. Yes. Go ahead. You can go with the with the audio with the video. Okay. So you want me to share it from my end? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Give me one second. Um, share screen. Application window. So I'm not able to. Do you, do you, where is the video? Did you? I I messaged it to you, so you oh, may have okay, it. Okay, okay. Let me see I, if I'll try again. But and yeah, guys, don't make fun of the video because I put a virtual oh, back. Okay, cool. okay, okay, I see. It. Okay, I see it. I see it. Yeah, like I'm. So I'm going to share an application, but it's not showing for me. And in case it doesn't work, we can always send you guys the link later. Um, I'm going to keep trying from my end as well. Were you able to get it, Imam? Um. Okay, so I think I got it. Oh, here. Can you add the video to this? Here we go. So we are going to be making. Let me pause that really quickly. Okay, so I put a virtual background for you guys' space and stuff. So the the images may come out a little weird and blurry. Um, and I'm and then we I can go ahead and start playing that for you guys. Um, Imam. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, then we can go ahead. You can just add there the you go. There you go. guys. Oh. So we are going to be making um, a telescope just like Sadiq and his friends. So for this, we are going to need two cardboard cardboard rolls. Then you are going to need some scissors. Then you are going to need some tape. You don't necessarily need duct tape, but that's what I had. Then you will need some paint and paint brushes. You will need some old glasses. Please don't go buy new glasses. I mean, unless you want to go to just dollar store and get some glasses from there, but these are just like an old pair that I have. And then you just pop the lenses out, like press it in, and then you just take it out. And if you don't have that, that's also okay. You can just use some clear cellophane paper, or if you don't have anything at all, that's also okay. So to start off, what you need to do is get one of your paper towel rolls and cut it lengthwise. Lengthwise means like this, right? 
So you're going to cut it lengthwise. You take this roll and you put it inside the other paper towel roll. There we go, just like that. Um, before putting the glasses on, I want to go ahead and paint it. So I got some black and blue paint. I'm just going to get my paintbrush and paint. Painted. After that, you need to let it dry for a little bit when you have time to do that. So I am going to get my both of my lenses. This side needs to be on the inside of that, okay? Duct tape was not working. You can also use a hot glue gun. So I'm just using that right here. And don't please don't do this without your parents because hot glue is going to be very, very dangerous. Um, all right, so then and it can be really messy too. And then you take that side and you just stick it on. So now, it is ready to go. And if you want to decorate it further, if you have some stickers or something like that, um, you want to make sure that you do, you can put all of that on as well right now. I have this very cool book, a thousand plus stickers. So I'm just going to take some stars and hearts and just random things that I like and put it on there. So you can just decorate it however you want. There you go. And that's it. So one main thing, make sure you don't point your telescope towards the sun. In the video. It's very <laughs> harmful for you, so don't do that. So now awkward. this Let's is ready to go. Oh my God, you're going to read my mind? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. You can read Mirace's mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think I already, I can read Mirace's mind anyway. Ah. Right, right? As a teacher, I know everything that's going through your head all the time. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Salvi, for joining us and uh, sharing with our audience how to make a homemade telescope. And you all can do that as well. And, you know, by the way, you know, uh, um, looking into the telescope and stargazing uh, is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we read the Quran, Allah tells us to look up into the sky, look at the mountains, look at his creation. So stargazing Although we get to enjoy the planets and all of the scenes that we see in the universe and in the in, in in space, but we also what do we get out of stargazing? We understand the creation of Allah. We understand the the might and the awesomeness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So yeah, so you get to see the planets and you get to see how beautiful Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala made things in the sky. Now, one thing <clears throat> I wanted to uh, I wanted to ask our audience first of all. Mirace, thank you. So, and by the way, Sister Salvi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you thank for you having me. Video. And hey, for those of you who are watching, if you end up getting uh, uh, making your telescope, send your pictures. Uh, um, there is a link in the comment section to submit your pictures of you enjoying story time. You can also uh, submit your pictures of your homemade telescope. And we would love to show the community and also see your telescope. And hey, once COVID is behind, maybe we can do a stargazing party with, with this telescope and your telescopes right outside at the masjid, inshallah, one day. Um, so, Mirace, thank you very much also for joining us. Thank you, audience. Uh, if you would like to join me as a co-pilot, hey, the link is in the comment section. Please submit your name, and we will have you on just like Mirace. So, Mirace, one thing in the story that uh, uh, I want I want to ask you and I want to talk about, we're going to talk about this with, you know, you got a podcast, right? So, you like having discussions, right? So, Sadiq's dad tells Sadiq about how his dad would tell him, you know, he shared a story with his son that, you know, when my dad used to go out into the desert, as long as I would see the stars and he explained what his dad used to do. He used to ride on a camel. He used to buy merchandise. He used to go and travel and buy and sell and buy and sell. And that's how he would support the family. So, you know, 
um, for our audience and for our kids out there and for the parents who are watching, it's very important that we share stories with our children about our childhood, about our parents, right? Um, now, Mirais, um, if you don't mind me asking, have you ever met your grandparents? Yeah. Yeah, they live here or they live in Afghanistan? Uh, they live here. They live here. So what I want you to do and what I want everyone watching to do is I want you to ask your grandparents or you may raise, ask your grandparents, ask them to share a story with you. Okay. About something that they experienced when they were young, something that was exciting, something that would like really be awesome. Or, or it, it could be, it could be a good story. It could be a story. Anything a grandparent has to tell us definitely has lessons in it. So Mirais, I want you to hit up your grandparents and all of you who are watching. I want you to, if your grandparents are alive, I want you to reach out to your grandparents and you know, it, it's good to reach out to our grandparents every now and then uh, to say salam to them. Our grandparents, they always remember us. They always, pray for us. And for those of you whose grandparents have passed away, uh, ask your parents, hey, can you tell me something about, you know, your experience with your with your parents? And, you know, and this is how we share and learn. So this is something that we learn. Apart from the telescope and apart from looking out into Mars, we also learn from Sadiq and the Desert Star, the importance of sharing stories, sharing our own personal experiences. Hey, parents out there, it doesn't only have to be the grandparents, but you can also share your childhood. If our child, if we don't share, there's no way, like Mirace, there's no way you can know about your parents, right? Unless your parents tell you, or unless your granddad tells you, right? Unless your granddad tells you that, oh, you know, when your daddy was a young boy, he used to mess around a lot. You ever heard that? <laughs> so anyways, but yeah, so thank you very much. Um, and we had a lot of wonderful shout outs from the audience uh, Aisha Hayum says, Zain wants to read with you. Fahad uh, Ibrahim, Ibrahim says, thanks Mirwais for, re Mirwais for reading the story for us. And thank you too, uh, Mirwais, for joining me. Huh? Can I give a shout out? Hey, it's all you. Okay. It's a uh, shout out to Story and Pare. So. <laughs> yeah. All and right. Me, no, all right. Of course. Yeah. And I want to give a shout out to all of you who are watching. Thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you, inshallah, uh, uh, the next story time. Just keep up with the emails. Uh, look online on YouTube and Facebook and find out when and what our next story time will be. Mirwais, thank you very much. You go ahead and have breakfast, sir. Thank you for joining me. It was amazing. I had a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, take care, okay? Okay. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. And for you viewers at home, thank you so much. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Have a good one. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Stay warm. Stay safe. The Alan Masjid loves you. Assalamu alaikum.